What up, what up, what up, man? The Real Coach JB coming with you. Another daily rant. I got a doozy for you today. Hypocrites at its finest. And this is why I'm the last of a dying breed. Because I bring you the real, the raw, and the uncut. ESPN and Disney has fired several big-name people to pave the way for Pat McAfee, who they feel will save a floundering network. Can Pat save them? I feel if he does, he will be the sacrificial lamb because he will lose the real fan base that has always loved to support him. Stephen A. Smith did a podcast naming everyone who was fired. Keyshawn, Jalen Rose, Neil Everett. Funny he did not mention Max Kellerman or the topic of this daily rant, the great Sage Still. Why you didn't add, why you didn't bring that up, Stephen A? Because he is a puppet in the show. Can't wait to dive into this one. You do not want to fucking miss it. See you on the other side. Say Still was suspended from ESPN for saying she thought the jab being mandated was not right and inhumane. And ESPN said, nope, you got to go. The hypocrisy is at an all-time high at ESPN. Can't wait to dive into this daily rant with you guys. This show is brought to you by BlueChew.com. Head on over to BlueChew.com. Use the promo code the JB Show. JB Show is the promo code JB Show. Use it, all caps. Go get you some Blue Chew. Ladies will love it. Men, you might need it. And the ladies will thank you later. Uh, we got a lot to break down here on this one. Hypocrisy at its finest. Hypocrisy at its finest. I'm going to break it down like no one else will. I'm going to dive into this thing in full totality. I'm going to show you every single moving part that has to do with it. I'm going to break down every single moving part, every single piece to the puzzle that has led to Sage Steele telling the truth and being vilified over it. It's unbelievable when you tell the truth how you hurt people's feelings. Sage Steele was suspended from ESPN for saying that basically she thought the jab was being mandated and it was not right. And ESPN basically said, no, you got to go. In the meantime, basically, to catch you up, Disney and ESPN's offered Sage Stills $501,000 to go away, basically. Sage makes $3 million a year, roughly. She is now suing them for much more, I assume or presume, as she should. And I can't wait to dive into it. I just can't. Here's some of what you may have missed on why Sage still was suspended about six days ago. And to mandate, I respect everyone's decision. I really yeah. do. Yeah. But to mandate it is um, sick mm -hmm. and it's scary yeah. to me in many ways. Um, but I have a job, yeah. a job that I love and frankly a job that I, that I need. But again, I love it. Yeah. I just... Um, I'm not surprised it got to this point, especially mm -hmm. with Disney. I mean, a, a global company like yes. See my face? I love it. I love the truth. I love the truth always. That's why I think I was born with truth serum throughout my blood and veins and arteries. And truth serum pumps through my heart, as does Sage Still, as does... A lot of people out there that I respect and admire. Sage still standing alone, basically, sitting there with with the female swimmer at Kentucky. You know, Sage still is the only one on ESPN to come forth and be like, why aren't we talking about men racing against women in swimming? And why aren't we talking about men racing and competing versus women in athletics? Why can't we discuss this? 
We have the largest platform in America. Why can't we discuss it? No, 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 no. You can't do it. Disney don't allow that. Disney does allow pedophiles to roam around Disney's yard and create cartoons that have nothing but children bearing negative undertones, grooming undertones. I mean, it's getting to be sickening. And yet Sage still can't say what she wants to say on the largest platform in America, ESPN, when it comes to sports. She said what she just said. And I told you I'm going to dive into this motherfucker. Anyone know who this is? Does anyone know who this girl is? Christine Williamson, who's showing up more and more and more on ESPN. Have you noticed? It's African-American. I, I just like calling them sisters, black folk, being from Compton and where I'm from, African-American. Anyone I talk to that's black will say, fuck, I ain't from Africa. I don't even know why we call each other African-American. We are black Americans, but that's a whole nother show and daily rant. But having said this, this sister right here, Christine Williamson, shaves her head. Williamson has never disclosed why she shaves her head. But quote, Christine, Christine Williamson said, quote, This is my choice, and I will not share why I shave my head, quote, end quote. Wow, interesting. So she shaves her head, doesn't disclose why. Who cares? I don't care. I don't really give a fuck. All I know is she said that's her choice. ESPN and Disney's bought into it. They live with it. They accepted her choice. Why can't they still say the truth about the, the jab, the shot, why I think it is not right. The mandate shouldn't have existed. The mandate shouldn't have come down. But I work at Disney and ESPN. They made me take the shot. Why is What is the difference? Please tell me. What is the difference? She said, it's my choice. I don't need to share. So say it still, choice is also to tell the world that she didn't think it should have been mandated. I don't understand the difference. I really don't. Maybe I'm tripping. But let's dive into this a little bit more on why ESPN suspended Sage Still. To man, I respect everyone. Your census. I'm like, well, I don't know when the last time I filled out my census was, but yeah. if they make you choose a race, yeah. she's like, what are you going to put? I go, well, both. She's like, well, you can't. She goes, well, what if Barack Obama chose black and he's biracial? I'm like, well, congratulations to the president. That's his thing. I go, I think that's fascinating consider, considering his black dad was nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma raised him. But hey, mm -hmm. you do you. I'm going to do me. God damn. I like say it still more and more and more. We actually follow each other on Twitter. Uh, I'm sending her this video. Uh, I'd love to get her on the show. Um, we've spoke with, briefly before. I'm good friends with Matt Barry um, and uh, a couple other people at ESPN, Mark Jones, uh, the caddy, uh, of, of course, Michael Collins, um, a few other fine folks over at ESPN. Don't get it twisted. Um, but clap it up for Sage Steele. God damn. <laughs> She is just breaking out the truth bombs, and it is lovely to hear, even though she worked for a complete hypocrite and a fucking company that thrives on hypocrisy. Uh, I can't thank Sage enough. That's another thing when you force this, and it hurt. And I'm tough, but like yeah. she, I think she like put it in the muscle and was like, uh. yeah. you're, <laughs> she, you're getting maybe this she shot. Thought I was home. I don't know. Yeah, you're taking this shot. <laughs> <sighs> Good old uh, Jay Cutler. Uh, that was his podcast that Sage was on that ultimately cost her her, her job. Um, I think Sage, uh, I know now times are tough. I've been in this situation, of course. Uh, obviously, I'm not just speaking out my ass. I've actually been here. 
I know how it is when you're let go or you're forced to resign or you're or this or that. I, I believe better things will happen for Sage um, because I think the 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 majority outweighs the m- minority. The issue is the minority is the vocal group and the majority are the silent ones. Therefore, the minority will always outweigh the majority when it comes to vocal outcry and cancellation. That is why we got to stop the bullshit. I'm so fucking tired of seeing this shit. Why did Stephen A. Smith not come and say something about Sage still? Is Sage not a sister? Is she not black? All I see is ESPN, Kendrick Perkins, Jalen Rose, fucking Jay Williams, Keyshawn Johnson. Everybody always brings up RG3, fucking, what's his name? Foxworthy or whatever his name is. Dominique Foxworthy. God damn, he's got to be so bad. Kimberly Martin. Dog, it's all that the black quarterback got fucked. The black coach got fucked. But then I see Ryan Clark advocating to fire black head coaches when anthony lynn was a head coach at the chargers he was advocating that he goes gets fired wait up you want a black coach fired, but you're advocating that we don't have enough black head coaches what kind of fucking sense does that make the hypocrisy is at an all-time high at that network sage still has basically come forward and said i'm not going to accept you're five hundred and one thousand dollars. I make three million dollars a year. You fucking morons! Why would I accept that? Yeah, Christine Williamson can shave her head, not tell anybody, and say it's my business. Well, I think it's Sage Steele's business that she talks about the jab and what she thinks about it. I don't understand why you can't do it. Matt Barnes can go smoke weed on other platforms, where ten years ago you know you'd have been fired, but now. You have a show, All the Smoke or whatever it's called, and then you're still on ESPN and you're still talking about sports, yet everyone knows your social media is full of you smoking weed, rolling blunts, whoop de wham you and Steven Jackson. So they can do that and Sage still can't speak the truth? I'm just trying to figure this out. At what point do we say, okay, we all allow everything or nothing at all. Like, how do we pick and choose what we allow in this fucking deal? The hypocrisy is at an all-time high. I want to know where Jalen Rose is, Stephen A., Kendrick Perkins. We talk about the quarterback being black in the NFL, being underpaid and underappreciated, yet the top three highest-paid players in the NFL history are black quarterbacks now. And I would argue that there are more than that. And I still haven't heard anyone come out and say, oh, you know what? Black quarterbacks actually are getting broke off now. And I'll argue that they're not worth at all. They're not deserving the money at all. No quarterback deserves the money at all. They ha- Lamar has done deadly shit. Kyler Murray has done deadly shit. Name me a motherfucker that's, that deserves this money that they got. Deshaun Watson. <laughs> you kidding me? He's a mockery. He's a slap in the face of the black quarterback. I want to know where the fucking real talk ESPN analysts are. Like Sage Steele, they're ridding the competition. They're getting rid of the real truth tellers. Like Disney rather create a show about made up humans, which you know I love to call them, and BMKs, (laughs) bitch made cats. Instead of having a truth-telling, good-ass human, great character, stands for something, falls for nothing, and sage still. I just don't get it. Now, the whole black person being at fired at ESPN thing needs to stop. Hey, Jamel Hill? I don't know. Sage still, first of all, is, five, is fucking five times the journalist you were as Jamel Hill. Five times the woman you are and tells the truth. You lie, make up bullshit for clicks and likes. So I think Disney and ESPN actually fired you, Jamil, because they knew you were shitty. It wasn't really about no Donald Trump and all that bullshit. Come on, man. They just fired Sage Still, who don't believe in the shit. You know goddamn well they fired you because you were shitty. 
and you continue to be shitty. But I want to know where Stephen A is defending Sage still. I want to know where Kendrick Perkins is. And I just actually want to know where Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson on all the smoke having Sage on to tell her side is. They had Nate, Rachel Nichols on, didn't they? Did they not have Rachel Nichols on? Is it because Rachel likes brothers and Sage tells the truth and y'all don't like that shit? Or what? <laughs> Am I dropping too many truth bombs on you motherfuckers this morning? I might be, but have a listen on what Kwame thinks about Rachel Nichols. We got to get rid of bitch ass niggas like Stephen A. Smith. We got to stop letting white ladies like the gatekeeper, Rachel Nichols. You talking about black men, woman. How many black women you see just going around talking about white men? They wouldn't allow that shit on TV. Tearing down affluent white men. They wouldn't allow it. Why do we allow everything to happen? To you agree or disagree? I don't know. All I'm trying to give you is detail and fucking all these moving pieces and parts to this thing. I want to see Sage on with Matt Barnes and, 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 and Steven Jackson. But that won't happen. Guarantee you. Mark my words. That shit ain't going to happen, dog. Keep it 100, homie. Keep it 100 like y'all say, dog. I want to know why the people that talk the most shit are the fucking fakest motherfuckers out there. Where's the real ones at? Like y'all say. Real. I'm a real one. I'm a real one. You not? Then have Sage still on your goddamn show. Have Sage still out there to clarify this thing. Fucking... Jay Cutler had her on. I'm curious to know why you would bring Rachel Nichols on your show, but not have Sage Still on your show. Very, very interesting to me. Very, very interesting to me. This fucking broad, who's as bad as I've ever seen on ESPN, her and Kimberly Martin might be the two fucking dumbest. Say this is the most outlandish shit I've ever heard along with Mina Kimes. But you got to be some of the dumbest motherfuckers I've ever seen. And I don't give a fuck. I used to like naughty head, short hair sisters. Ooh, man, Ursula. <laughs> if you don't know about Ursula, then you just don't know. Set it off, the movie. Go check it out. But having said that, this ain't Ursula. This is somebody who's trying to make a statement with being pro-black on a network who wants bullshit spread. And when a black woman like Sade still comes forward and tells the truth about regular ass everyday life, she gets fired. Offers a settlement. Here, here you go. Here's a severance, 501K. Walk away, shut up, don't say nothing. Because Stephen A. and all these other motherfuckers that work at ESPN are clear puppets in a puppet show. They are puppets, just like our American presidents are puppets inside the show. In a recording of the video obtained by the New York Times, Rachel Nichols and Mendelssohn Pause for a moment during the conversation after Nichols says she planned to wait for ESPN's next move. Mendelssohn, who's a white guy, then said, I don't know. I'm exhausted between Me Too and Black Lives Matter. I got nothing left. Nichols didn't laugh. Nichols didn't laugh. That's what led to her dismissal. And then Maria Taylor ultimately took Rachel Nichols' spot. And Rachel Nichols came out and was like, I have nothing against Rachel's, uh, uh, Maria Taylor. You, you know, you do basketball, you do football now. It is what it is, but you're not going to fuck with me. So why did Max, or why did Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson have her on there if they thought that Rachel Nichols was any type of racist or any type of uh, race baiter or any of that type of shit? Why did they have her on there? Because they knew the laugh she made was because she was laughing at the white dude like, bitch, you don't know me. I like brothers. I fuck with brothers. And Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson know that. But see, you don't know that unless you're from the hood and you understand it. 
They knew right through. They saw right through Rachel Nichols. Come on now. I know for a fact. But y'all don't think that way. Y'all just look at the color of your skin and automatically think this is that way and this is that way. Too bad it's not that way. <laughs> Sage still is a sacrificial lamb at a, hypo- at a hypocritical ass network. And we got to end up having more people out there with a voice like Sage still so that this shit gets out there and it stops the bullshit rhetoric that we continue to see every single fucking day. This shit is starting to get old. It's starting to be exhausting. I'm tired of hearing about white, black, right, left. Can't we just tell the truth and keep it 100 like y'all say? Like, what do you say about making up that word 100 when none of you motherfuckers even are close to being 100? (laughs) Y'all need to come up with something else, like one, because you motherfuckers are the worst. I I mean, I I just can't believe that this woman, Sage Still, has had no support from her former black adversaries and colleagues it blows my fucking mind the hypocrisy is at an all-time high i feel for sage still but i know she'll bounce back and i can't wait to see what she does next probably be on youtube just like everyone else that's getting big and everyone else that has a voice go on youtube go on other platforms stream your voice stream your truth and uh i eventually see the mainstream media espns and these other places will eventually fall. They'll eventually fall. They'll eventually implode um, and, 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 and stop being so fucking hypocritical. ESPN should be a fucking shame to their motherfucking self. Disney, you guys are a bunch of fucking pedo-ass, fucking weird-ass, fucking billionaire motherfuckers on Epstein's fucking island and plane and flight plat. You motherfuckers have really the audacity to fire a motherfucker for telling the truth. After all you do is hide behind fucking lies, deceit, and bullshit. Unfucking believable I can't wait for somebody to fucking tell the real. I can't wait for this show to blow the fuck up so we can get it out there. Hit the like button, subscribe, become a member. Don't miss tomorrow, Thirsty Thursday. Steve Kim joins Darnell and I, Big Smitty, for the Coach JB Show. And uh, I can't wait to see it and get after it, man. Much love to everybody. Keep it real and tell the truth. Fuck the dumb shit. Let's keep it real. Keep it pushing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.